Tater left center field. This one's going to fly. Rockies are within a run. Three jacks in the inning. C.J. Crone's ninth. That's his fourth home run on this homestand. The first five innings of this inning. It's been fun to watch. There's a cutter that backed up. CJ says that puts a backspin on that backed up cutter. Let's play you're down there in the dugout. First, the dugout's got to be electric, but the sound has got to be impressive. It is loud. I have to get some earplugs. Driven to center field. Ball game over. Well, this might be the win that turns it all around right here. Huge comeback off a guy who's given up basically nothing all year. Four good at bats, four hard hit balls, and the Twins win a game they desperately needed to win. I would venture to say that Chapman had not given up four hard hit balls like that, a total of four all year long, and he gave them up in succession. And this ball almost went over the batter's eye. A little Sammy Sosa hop on the end of this right here. Perfectly on time, perfectly squared up, and he knew it immediately. Ball game over right there. Run down the right field. We have a new constellation in the night sky. 3 1 Sox. See, he was thinking about hitting a home run. Oh, was he? Yeah. And it's another run lead, the third solo homer. And he has with a big smile on his face. That's his seventh. He's got 19 driven in. And that, folks, is a big one tonight. Bit of a high fastball. Yaz knows it's gone when it left the bat. And joy erupts at the ballpark. I'll tell you what, when he lifts the ball to right field from the left hand side, it goes a long way. Yeah, that one went a long way. Duvall, fly ball left field. This one's going to go into the second deck. Adam Duvall with a home run off of Aaron Nola. I think he's on another one of those hot streaks. Well, he's starting to heat up. A long home run to center field last night on a 101-mile-an-hour fastball. This in 84-mile-an-hour changeup. A nice job of keeping the hands back. Circle change, see the reaction, head down, and a no doubter to left. 458 feet. And I will guarantee you that most everybody in the section in which that ball was hit did not expect the baseball to come up there tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think anybody moved. Both times getting him with the curveball. Goes after the first pitch, it's it high and deep, and this one's gonna go. They threw him a fastball that time, and he might want to rethink that pitch as Randall Bridget has hit another home run. That's home run number 12 for Randall. Well, when you have an eight to nothing lead and you get the first two batters out very quickly, you throw that little fastball over the middle of the plate. But the Jays, they they are really good at hitting early in the count. Richick says, you know what, I know he hasn't thrown that many pitches this inning, but he's got a fastball that's right over the plate. I can't pass it up, and he jumps all over that thing for another home run. That gets the Blue Jays on the board. Just give us a hard <laughs> night tonight as Acuna digs in and unloads deep to left field. Did he keep that ball fair? It's near the pole. That ball is into the upper deck. A first pitch homer for Ronald Acuna Jr. That'll restore everybody's sanity. It's 2 nothing Atlanta. 99th career homer. 18th this year, tying him with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the Major League lead. Well, location of that pitch, I didn't, I didn't think he could keep it fair. But he did a nice job keeping his hands inside the baseball. Change up inside. Just a little bit elevated, which was what allowed Ronald to get to it and keep it fair. That ball's down a little bit. That's much harder to keep fair. 
Nice piece of hit. And you pitchers really hate hanging changeups, don't you? Well, you know, <laughs> we do. This time he has started the game in left field this year, and that one is hit deep to left field. And that baby is gone. Somebody, somebody was getting a, a beverage or something. Chad hit Fender, who homer on the 21st of May. Just absolutely blistered this one. 462 feet to the back of the bleachers in left field. He said, I'm going to get a fastball. I got the leg up, the foot down, and crushed it. One of the strongest young men on this ball club, and he just showed why. Down with the hamstring. How about now that, brother? That one high and deep down the right field line. Into the corner it goes, and gone! Home run, Adalberto Mondesi, 3-1 to one Royals. There's, He's a difference maker. Yep, there's some timing for you right there. On time with everything. See his front foot come up, 464 foot blast. I mean, it was a no doubter. That foot getting down, 112 exit below. Man, just admire that one, Mondi, because that was hit a ton. You don't see ball, a lot of balls go up there. There you go. Yeah, I was just had my eyes on the umpire. He would be the one to tell the story. Was it fair? Was it foul? But that was hammered. Garcia, high, towering drive. What a shot from Garcia, halfway up the scoreboard. When he hits them, they stay hit. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, they do. Boy, he's been on it, barreling him up and going to the opposite field. That one in right center. The Brewers needed that. Get that momentum back. So five hits, four of them have left the ballpark. Well, they've made the most of their hits. And when guys like Garcia, they make contact like that, they know they're gone. Looked into the board, dug out high off the scoreboard. And this ball crushed to left field. It's been a while, but Story knows the route around the bases. His sixth of the year. Here come the Rockies. Seven game hit streak now. We've been saying it the last couple of days as he's gotten locked in. The homers are going to come. That's his first since May 23rd. Cut fastball. It cuts through whatever win there is. Bam. The Yellows took two courtesy steps, and that was it. Got him. High fly ball. Look at this baby go. That's a grand slam. Oh, Christian Arroyo, what a month he's having. I got your cutter right here. There he goes again. And every big hit he has is into the seats. Wow. That is incredible. Yep, for the first time this season, the Red Sox hang four on one swing. He didn't bury it. He didn't bury it. He threw him a cutter for a strike, and he lost it. Slammage. Check it out. Oh, my goodness. Get the tape. Still nobody out. And now Bichette drives one to deep left field. And this one's going to go as well. A no-doubter for Bo Bichette. Third home run of the inning for the Blue Jays. And it is six to nothing. Well, anybody that had any concerns about the Blue Jays players having a hangover from last night's loss, you can forget about that. <laughs> These kids are too young to worry about that. They're just learning how to win. They know they can swing the bats, and they're not going to dwell on that loss last night. And another hang and breaking ball, and Bo rushes it. My, oh, my, he hit this one a long way. And you remember early in the season, he hit one deep over those seats, and that would clear the seats as well. And Goldie hits a high fly ball in the deep right center. Way out of here. That is one of the longest home runs to center this year. Goldie, a bomb. And it adds to the St. Louis lead. It's 3-1. 470 feet. Goodness.
No messing around. He sees something he can hit first pitch center cut fastball belt high and he knew as soon as he touched it that this thing was way out of here. JT Brubaker throws the hands up and say man you can't make one mistake around here. Yeah, they were up there trying to do as much damage as they could. Like There's that. damage right there. Shohei way way Sayonara where did that land? <laughs> Just like that. Couple rows from the top. <laughs> Two nothing Angels. Shohei, goodness. That's incredible how far that went. I remember Joey Gallo hit one off. Garrett Richards pretty far out there. And I remember Bo Jackson in the All-Star game. But I don't know if I've ever seen a ball that far up on that batter's eye. I mean, that's way I've up I've never there. seen one hit that high up there. <laughs> Could you hit a top plate golf ball that far, <laughs> GA? Yeah, with a two iron. <laughs> the metrics, that came out at 111.7 miles an hour. Wow. That just kind of fell into his bat right there. And he had to say well, too. <laughs> yeah. Fly ball, deep left field, crushed. Fernando Tatis Jr. connects on his 21st home run of the year, and the Padres are on the board emphatically. Well, first pitch of this at bat, he threw him a changeup because he knows he likes to be aggressive. This pitch here, not so much. Up and away, get extended. No doubt about that one. And uh, another home run given up by Cal Freeland last outing five against the Reds. Cal Freeman, I feel for you. 477, tail of the tape. Ball is crushed. Oh. That is the longest home run of Fernando's career.